Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crooked Hour. Today we're going to be doing how to bet both ways on the entire UFC 300 card. Describing how to bet on both fighters in each fight from the prelims to the main event. Now before this video starts, I want to say big thank you for 100 subscribers. We hit 106 subscribers, it might be 105. And I want to say big thank you to MMA experts. Absolute gem. Absolute legend. Like, big respects. If it wasn't for MMA experts, bringing these people over here. Thank you for everybody who subscribed. Welcome to the channel. Um, but yeah, just big thank you. It does mean a lot. I know oh, only 100 subscribers, but we, I've been working towards it for a long time. So I am very grateful. So thank you all for subscribing. But jumping straight into the video, we got... Starting off straight away, Davison Figueredo versus Cody Garbrandt. Now... I'm thinking Eva Man gets a KO here. I do like the idea that Eva Man gets a KO because Cody Garbrandt has the KO power to knock out Davis and Figueredo. And Cody Garbrandt's chin ain't the best, so Figueredo might KO him. I mean, it could go to a decision. Just looking over the props, we got Moneyline, 133 for Figueredo. Probably not worth touching. And 3.50 for Cody Garbrandt, which could be decent if you're on the side of Co Cody Garbrandt. It ain't bad. Uh, Cody Garbrandt by KO is... 5.50. I think that's a much better bet than the money line. I think if he wins, that's more than likely how he's going to win. Yeah, Figueredo by a KO at 2.50, which is sort of likely, but you know, it could go to a decision for Figueredo. So if I'm on the side of betting on Figueredo, I'm probably just hitting that money line, putting it into a parlay. It's your safest pick. You know, you could go the KO for that little bit of extra money, but I, I, I don't mind just the bet of you know, Figueredo by money line, putting it in a little parlay. That way, if he KOs him, he win. He your bet hits. If he submits him, your bet hits. If he gets a decision, your bet hits. So I'd go decision. I mean, I'd go money line for Davis and Figueredo. Maybe even the decision prop. Figueredo wins by decision. He's at four dollars. So that's not a bad bet either. If you think Cody Garbrandt's chin can hold up and go to a decision. That could be a good bet as well. So, yeah, if I was on the side of figure eight, I'd be looking at the money line or probably the decision prop just because that's where the money's at. That's where the money's at. you got figure eight by KO only at 2.50. If you're on the side of Garbrandt, I'd be going KO. I'd be going to KO at 5.50. That's where I would be putting my money down as an underdog bet. Now, props. Any good props that stand out to me? Uh, under, over... The under ain't too bad at 2.60. Under 2.5 rounds at 2.60. But I, I, I wouldn't be touching that. I wouldn't be touching that if I was you. Next fight on the card, we have Bobby Green versus Jim Miller. This one's pretty straightforward to me. I think if you're on the side of Bobby Green, if you're on the side of Bobby Green, you could play him in a parlay again, play his money line in a parlay. But I'd be looking at the decision. I'd be looking at the Green wins by decision at 2.65. I mean, that's good odds. That's good odds for Bobby Green to win by decision. 2.65, I think that's his most likely outcome to win this fight. I don't think he KOs Jim Miller. don't think he submits Jim Miller. I think he's outboxing Jim Miller to a decision if he does win. If you're on the side of Jim Miller, I like the KO prop. Miller wins by KO, 5.25, or he is an underdog playing out 2.55. So if you're on the side, Jim Miller, either the money line or the KO prop is where I would be smacking. Uh, fight doesn't go the distance at 1.91. Fight goes the distance at 1.83. Just depends. If you're on the side of Jim Miller and you think he's going to get that KO, maybe a little sprinkle on fight ends inside the distance. If you think Bobby Green's going to win by decision... Maybe a little sprinkle on that fight goes the distance. So there are my picks. I wouldn't be touching the under 2.5 on that fight. Next fight, Jessica Andrade versus Marina Rodriguez. Now, what do we have here? What do we have here? We got Jessica Andrade as a favorite at 1.73. Marina Rodriguez as a dog at 2.17. What what are they what are they paying? Andrade by KO, it's possible, but I would be going the over two point five rounds at one point six one. I think that's a good parlay piece, and I think it's likely to hit. 
Um, unless Andrade does knock her out, I'd be play. I'd just be playing two point seventeen Marina Rodriguez um, money line because. If you're on the side of the dog, Marina Rodriguez, she could KO Andrade. We did see, she, we we did see Andrade get KO'd against Yan Chaonan. So the money line's the safest bet for Jessica Andrade. I'd be playing the money line too. I don't feel it's too safe to bank that she'll get a finish or a decision. Or if there's a double chance bet by a KO or decision, if it's anywhere here, I don't think it is. Then that mightn't be a bad bet to take either. So. That's my thoughts on that fight. Next fight, we have Jalen Turner versus Renato Moicano. Now, Jalen Turner's a big favorite here at 1.34. He's a big favorite. Moicano coming back at 2.95. If you're on the side of Moicano, I like the dis- I like the submission play. I don't think he's going to win a decision here. I don't think he's going to win by KO here, but where could he win? By submission. I like submission. Submission is paying out at 5.50. Those are good odds for submission for Moicano. If you're on the side of Jalen Turner, I like the KO prop for Jalen Turner. Um, Jalen Turner to win by KO. Where is that? 1.74. It's okay, but if I was you, I'd just be staying away from this fight. If you're on the side of Turner... Maybe you could throw him in a parlay if you're really confident in him. I'm really confident in him, but I still don't know if I would play him. I don't know if I would play him, so I'd be staying away from this fight. Uh, turn it a win in round one. That's a possibility if he does catch him in round one like he did to Bobby Green. That's a possibility. I'm pretty sure he caught Bobby Green in round one. Might have been round two. But at 2.25, that's not a bad bet Turner wins in round one. So if you're on the side of Turner, I'd be going round one. Or stay off it if you're on the side of Moicano, either money line or the submission prop. I like the submission prop for Moicano there. If you're on the side of Moicano. Next up, Diego Lopez versus Sadiq Yusuf. Now, this is a tough one because this fight could go a lot of ways. If you're on the side of Sadiq Yusuf, money line play or KO play are the are my two favourites. I don't think he's gonna outpoint Diego Lopez here. He's KO line is paying out at 5.25. Uh, Sadiq Yusuf's a dog at 2.15. Diego Lopez is a favorite at 1.74. I'd be going Diego Lopez money line if you're on the side of Lopez. I mean, it's not amazing odds. You could go win, wins, Lopez wins inside the distance at 1.95. I don't mind that bet. You could go Lopez by submission at 3.75, but I don't even think the odds for that are worth it. It's, there's a big chance there, but he could KO him. He could win a decision here. You never know. But I do like Lopez to win inside the distance, and I like Sadiq Yusuf if you're on the side of him, money line it, or KO at 5.25 because I don't think he's winning, winning a decision here. He very well could, don't get me wrong, and I don't think he's going to sub Diego Lopez, no way. So... There are my bets for that fight. Diego Lopez inside the distance. is a good play. Next up, Kayla Harrison versus Holly Hong. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Fight goes the distance. I do think this fight goes the distance. And it's at even odds, 1.87 for fight goes the distance. I like that. Harrison wins by decision. I like that. 2.50. I'm, I'm going to drop some money on it. I'm just saying it right now. I think Harrison's going to win. And just seeing that prop, I like it. 2.50 for Harrison by decision. Uh, going over the money lines, you got Kayla Harrison at 1.23 uh, as the favorite and 4.35 for Holly Holm as the dog. Now, if I was on the side of Holly Holm, if I thought she could get it done, money line would be the best pick for Holly Holm at three point, uh, 4.35. Best bet. But I see a lot of people saying she's going to get a KO. Home by KO, 11.00. Worth a little sprinkle if you're on the side of home. Also worth a little sprinkle. Home wins by decision. Her most likely way to win is she does win. I don't think she's going to KO Kayla Harrison. I don't believe that in a minute, but a lot of people do. I'd be going Holly Home by decision or Holly Home money line, safer pick money line. I'd be going Kayla Harrison via decision. That's what I would be picking. And I do think, I don't mind the fight goes the distance prop as well. 
And over 2.5 rounds might be a good play in a parlay somewhere. Next fight on the card, we have Aljamain Sterling versus Calvin Cater. You got Calvin Cater coming in at the, as the underdog at 2.45. You got Aljamain Sterling coming in as the favorite at 1.61. Now, does anything stand out to me here? I'm just liking the Calvin Cater money line right now. If you're on the side of Calvin Cater, I think the money line is good because you know Calvin Cater could win a decision. Calvin Cater could KO him. You know, there's both those chances. If you have the double chance, Calvin Cater to win by KO or decision would be the best bet depending on what the odds are. The best bet other than his money line. So I'd be playing Calvin Cater's money line or I would be saying Calvin Cater... I'd just be playing his money line. I don't like anything else here besides that double chance if it is on your sport book. Uh, if you're on the side of Aljamain Sterling... I don't mind Aljamain Sterling by decision, or I just don't mind his money line. But if you want that extra bit of odds, you can get Sterling by de- uh, by decision at 2.35. So you're getting a little boost up in odds, a fair bit of a boost. But then if he KOs him, subs him, it's gone. Poof. Your bet's gone, brother. So what's he paying by, de- by submission, just in case? I don't think he's going to sub him up. 4.90. There's a chance. I don't mind Cater by KO either, 4.90. There's a good chance of that happening, and that they, 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 it's paying all right, buddy. It's paying all right. So, yeah, I'd just be playing Calvin Cater money line. I'd be playing Aljamain Sterling money line or by decision. But money line, either way on this fight, is your best bet. And I wouldn't be touching the over-unders or fight to go the distance on this fight because it's just when you, you don't know how it's going to go. Yuri Prohoska. Coming in as the underdog to Alexander Rakage. Yuri Prosk is paying 2.04. Alexander Rakage paying out 1.81. I like Yuri to get a finish here if you're on the side of Yuri, but he is a dog. But he's not a big dog. I like Prohaska wins inside the distance if you're on the side of Prohaska. I could see him making it a slug fest, mixing up his elbows. That's paying out 2.35, so you're getting a little bit of extra money on there. If you're on the side of Rackage, don't mind Rackage by decision. But betting-wise, I would steer clear from this fight unless there's something in it you see that I don't. Because I think Rackage could win by decision. I think he could win by KO. More than likely by decision, so that decision prop isn't bad, but he could win by KO. Well, you got Yuri Brosko on the other hand. I think he's if he wins this fight... More than likely going to be by KO, but what if he does win a decision? Like, just one of those fights. I'd be playing, if I was on the side of Yuri Brohaska, I'd be playing him. Either he wins inside distance or just his money line. If I was on the side of Rakic, I'd be pla- playing decision or just the money line. Uh, I don't mind, oh, shit. I don't mind over 2.5 rounds at 2.25. Is that true? 2.25 for over 2.5 rounds. I like that. That could be the play. I think this fight goes long. I don't see if a man getting finished early unless Yuri Prosca does his work, but I could see a late finish, and halfway through the third round, that's when we could get the finish just as that bet hits. So I don't mind that either. Over 2.5 rounds. Next fight, Bo Nickel versus Cody Gar... I did it again. I always go to call him Cody Garbrandt for some reason. So we've got Bo Nickel, 1.04 for Bo Nickel. Don't play his money line, just don't do it. Like, yeah, he's got to win, but wait, on the chance he does lose, you just lost fucking that much money. Cody Brundage, on the other hand, playing out at 12.00. I'll give you a piece of advice. Don't bet the underdog money line for Cody Brundage. If you're on the side of Cody Brundage, bet the... KO line. Bet the KO line. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm not. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if he does win, that's that's how he wins this fight. By by chinning Bo Nickel. That's how he wins this fight. Well, you think he's going to submit Bo Nickel? You think he's going to win a decision against Bo Nickel? No, if he wins, he's going to KO him. So that's paying out 19.00, and I've bet on it. I'm not a de- I'm not a degenerate better, not at all. What gives you that idea? 
I'd never do degenerate bets. But I, I could just say it happening. There's like a small percentage of me that could just say by nickel fucking getting slept by Brandage, but it's not gonna happen. I just need to stop daydreaming. If you're on the side of Bo Nickel, I'll try and find you something. Lines are so terrible. Nickel, nickel inside the distance at 1.07 or 1.13 on another book. Nickel wins in round one, only at 1.35. Nickel by submission, what's that paying out at? 1.67, nickel by KO. Okay, if you're playing it on Bo Nickel, maybe the KO line's worth a look. 2.40, I'm not telling you that's what's going to happen because, I don't know, he might sub him. But don't be surprised if he KOs Cody, Gu uh, Cody Brundage here. Don't be surprised. But I would personally, if I was betting on Bo Nickel, I would just not bet on him. Too, too shit of a line. Likely to win, but we don't quite know how. Side of Cody Brundage. If you want to be risky, I like the KO line for Cody Brundage. But just... Don't bet anything you don't mind losing on it. Like, bet $2 on it or something. Next fight, Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sarukian. Now, you got Charles Oliveira as the underdog at 2.90. Cross other books, the lowest, 2.75. Uh, Armin Sarukian coming in as a favorite at 1.44. If you're on Charles Oliveira... I think there's only two options, baby. I think there's only two options. I think you either play Charles Oliveira, money line at 2.90, or you play the infamous Charles Oliveira by submission at 4.75. But then he might KO him. Oliveira inside the distance, maybe, is the better bet. Oliveira wins inside the distance at 3.00. But it's only paying 10 cents extra. If you're betting on Oliveira, just bet the money line on Oliveira. Okay? That's what I'd be betting. I'd just be betting the money line on Oliveira. If you're on the side of Armin Sarukian, decent favorite. Armin Sarukian wins inside the distance. Uh, I don't know. I'd stay away from this. This, this fight's too much of a gamble because Armin Sarukian could finish it. I actually think it might go to a decision, so maybe that's why I'm a little bit more wary. But I'd just be staying away. I'd be just be betting money lines straight up on this fight. I do like it to go over 1.5 rounds, though, at 1.77. I don't mind that bet. Throw it into a parlay. That could be a good bet. That's it. I just think money line's the way to go in that fight. Either way. Either way, depends how confident you are in Armin Suruki and if you're going to be laying down on 1.44. But it's not a bad parlay piece, honestly. Charles Oliveira, dog odds, how can you complain? Next fight, Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway. Now, I like Max Holloway by decision or I like Justin Gaethje by KO or decision. Now, Justin Gaethje coming in as a big favourite at 1.7, uh, 1.57, sorry. Max Holloway is a dog at 2.50. I'm going to say Justin Gaethje, if you're on the side of Justin Gaethje, I'm thinking you go the double chance, maybe you go Gaethje wins by KO or decision. I think that's a safe enough bet, KO or decision. I don't think it's on here. Actually, I will be able to find it. I'll get up my sports book. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, double chance. Where is it? Double chance. Double chance. Justin Gaethje by KO, TKO, or points is paying out at 1.44. I like that. 1.44. If you're looking at him on here, 1.74. The odds must have dropped. The odds must have dropped. What's his money line on here? I don't mean to get sidetracked. One point. Are you guys saying this? Look, look, little sidetrack here, but 1.44 by KO points, but I could add the submission into the money line and get 1.57. A little bug there must be. But if once they fix those odds, yeah, I don't mind the KO or... Decision if they fix up that line. If you're on the side of Max Holloway, I like Max Holloway by decision on my sports book. That's paying out at 3.75. I like that. 
That's the best bet. Or money line, of course, but I'd be playing the decision. I think that's how he wins. But if you think, oh, there's a little chance he might be able to get a KO here, I don't mind the money line either for Max Holloway. So Justin Gaethje, double chance, KO decision, or just money line it. Max Holloway, I'm going decision, but you could go money line as well if that's what you would prefer. Next fight, co-main event. Wei Li Zhang versus Yan Xiaonan. Now, I think Wei Li Zhang wins this fight. Three ways, decision, KO, or submission. She could win by all three. So, money line would be the best bet, even though it's only paying out at 1.21. I'm pretty confident she wins the fight. Uh, you could go inside the distance, and I think that... I think that's what happens. Wins inside the distance at 1.80. You're getting a bit more odds. That might be the bet to make if you're on the side of Wei Li. If you're on the side of Yan Xiaonan, money line it or do the KO. I don't think she wins a decision here. I think if she does win, her chances by KO. And it's paying out at 11.00. That's how I'd bet on this fight. If I was on the side of Yan, I'd be going money line it. But if I wanted to get a bit risky, I'd be going KO. If I was on the side of Wei Li, I'd be playing that money line. Or I'd just be saying she wins inside the distance. Moving on to the main event of UFC 300. If you guys are enjoying the content, please like, subscribe, and comment. And hopefully this video helps you out. Just don't blame me if your bets don't smack. Okay? Don't, don't blame me. I'm just giving you pointers. You know? I'm no betting expert. I'm just giving you pointers. You do what you want with it. Now, I like this fight to end in a draw at 67.00. I'm just I'm fucking with you. Alex Pereira, 1.77 as the favorite. Jamal Hill, 2.10 as the underdog. I like by fighter, by KO. I like this fight. Doesn't go the distance, etc., etc. Don't bet on it ends inside the distance because it's playing out, paying out 117. But I like Hill by KO. I like Pereira by KO. Straightforward, if you want to play Hill by KO, 2.75. Pereira by KO, 2.15. Fight, a fight doesn't start round four might be a good bet, but it's only paying out at 1.53. I'm just waffling. Fight starts round five. Maybe a bet on fight starts round three at 1.91 because I actually think it could make round three, and I think round three might be where the fight ends. But it could be earlier. Safest picks on the side of Alex Pereira. You going for Alex Pereira? I think KO is your best bet. I think Pereira by KO at two point fifteen is your best bet. If you're on the side of Hill, you could play play the money line. But if if I was on the side of Hill, I'd be just playing Hill by KO. That's what I'd be. That's what I'd be playing. But anyway, guys, let me know what you're betting in the comments below. I hope we smack. I hope you all hit some mad bets, some mad underdog bets, some mad favorite bets. Hit those parlays. And as always, guys, please take care. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, have a good one. Give me five minutes, I'ma pull up with that five niggas. Give me five minutes, girl. I'ma be right with you.